it has been a week since we called for a community quarantine and it's enhanced in its enhanced form in Metro Manila and various parts of the zone. We in government continue to respond to the public needs, mobilize resources, and oversee developments. We are also addressing the COVID-19 pandemic challenges confronting our nation. First, let me reiterate my sincerest gratitude to all our courageous frontliners in this war, especially our healthcare workers, our doctors, nurses, medical technologists, and all other allied health professionals. Maraming, maraming salamat. Asahan nyo ang suporta ng inyong gobyerno. I am saddened by the news that the virus has claimed the lives of our doctors along the way. Lahat po sila ay bayani. And not only that, talagang bumilib ako. Bihira akong sumasaludo ng tao. Pero pa yung mga doktor natin, mga health workers na nadisgrasya, talagang saludo ako sa inyo. Wala na kayo dito sa mundong ito, pero gano'n na lang ang pagtingin ko sa inyo. Uh, to be able, to the able officials and staff of the Interagency Task Force on Emerging Infectious Diseases, thank you for staying on top of the situation. To the brave men and women of the armed forces of the Philippines and the Philippine National Police, thank you as well for ensuring peace and order in these trying times. I also thank the rest of the frontliners to ensure that the basic services are provided to our people, from those manning various government agencies, groceries, banks, food, establishments and delivery services among others. Maraming, maraming salamat po. To the gracious members of the private sector who are foregoing traffic to elevate the suffering of our people. To the valiant volunteers who are bravely supplementing our frontliners. To the noble civil society organizations who are working tirelessly in calling for donations and performing charity work. Thank you very much for your kindness, compassion, and generosity. I especially thank Congress for granting the Executive Department with special powers through the Bayanihan to head as one act to the Bayanihan to heal, rather, I'm sorry, if I said, to heal as one act, to effectively respond to the challenges caused by the COVID-19 global pandemic. I particularly thank Senate President Vicente Soto III and the House Speaker Alan Peter Cayetano for the strong and decisive leadership you have demonstrated in shepherding this measure to fruition during this critical time in our national history. To the members of both houses of Congress who sponsored and voted for this measure, I express my sincerest gratitude to all of you for granting our most urgent requests. Finally, the Executive Department can move this with uh, move, decide, and act freely for the best interest of the Filipino people during this health crisis. The Department of National Defense and the Department of Interior and Local Government, along with the Armed Forces of the Philippines and the Philippine National Police, are now ramping up the implementation of the National Action Plan, or NAP as we speak to reinforce the efforts of the Department of Health in containing COVID-19. Alam mo, tatlo lang yun sila yun. 
Department of National Defense, Department of Health, Department of yung kay Rolly, DSWD, and the DILG. One of the most important uh, departments that are uh, now uh, in action. <clears throat> Reports on our progress of the National Action Plan will be given regularly by the Secretary of National Defense, serving as the National Action Plan Chair with the Secretary of Interior and Local Government as Vice Chair. To the Filipino people, rest assured that your entire government is working hand in hand to safeguard your health, safety, and well-being in the face of threat posed by COVID-19. We will address all the different issues brought about by this pandemic as well as to ensure the protection of all our people, especially those who are serving in the front lines. Supplies of food, water, and other essentials will be provided to you throughout this ordeal. Financial assistance will also be extended, especially to those in the margins and the vulnerable groups. Hado silahat ho makatanggap. Ah, hindi naman lahat yung kagaya ni, ni Bungo. Hindi naman niya tanggapin niya. Gagawin namin ang lahat. Hindi namin kayo papabayan. I now call on every Filipino to participate in this war by, by following the guidelines and set the national government and your local officials. Nothing is more important than your cooperation. I repeat, stay home. Wag matigas ang ulo. The outcome of this war depends largely on you as well. I also call on relevant agencies to ensure the speedy delivery of basic medical supplies and equipments to health facilities. From the approval, importation, and the delivery, everything must go smoothly to make sure that we do not waste time. I, alam mo, isang bagay talaga na alam ng lahat is itong padilidali, patamantamaran. Kailangan pagpasok ng papel, process mo kagad, uh, ilinya mo yung you line up the tables where the papers should go, one after the other. Para madali, uh, cut red tapes. I do not want red tapes. I do not want so many questions. Pagka sinertify ng isang government employee, I said, do not commit the mistake and we will all be happy and comfortable. Huwag ninyong... Na, kung, may, kung gusto ninyo magluko, huwag ninyo itong panahon na ito. To my fellow public servants, let us set aside our differences and work in solidarity to overcome this pandemic. We only have one common enemy and that is COVID-19. Our transparency, integrity, accountability, and responsiveness are needed and I expect all of you to exercise all this in safeguarding our fellow Filipinos. As President, I assure you, I assure the public that the government will be on top of this situation at all times. We will not leave anyone behind. Sabay-sabay natin labanan ang COVID-19 para sa kabutihan ng lahat. I ask the entire country for your patience, understanding, and utmost cooperation. With your support, I am confident that we will emerge triumphant. Nothing is more formidable and resilient than the Filipino spirit. Matindi ang kalaban, but we will not surrender. Hindi tayo susuko, tayo ay lalaban. Yes, Things will not be easy, 
and we Filipinos are tough. Mas malakas ang Pilipino sa anumang hamon. Now we are, we all must do what we can and must para sa ating bayan. I look forward to the day that we the Filipinos can find finally claim victory of this war and emerge as stronger and more united Filipinos and Philippines. Maraming salamat po. Osbo na ko. Ayaw mo kahadlok. Tagalogin ko, huwag kayong matakot. Nandito yung gobyerno ninyo para kayo pagsilbihan. At totoong pagsilbihan. Salamat.